How's it going guys? Today is Thursday, March 12th. Today we're going to talk about Supergirl, Hawkeye, and Bunny Ear Batman. Like, Bunny Ears. I know. Just sit back. You'll see. Let's start it out with movie news. Movie news! Jimmy Renner has been confirmed in a Captain America movie. So we're going to have Hawkeye in Captain America Civil War. If most of you guys who read the comic books, you already know that Ronan, Hawkeye was Ronan during the Civil War. Spoiler alert. The comic book almost 10 years old. You should probably, you should know this by now. I don't think they're going to bust out the Ronan this early on in the series. That'd probably just be a bad idea to do that considering we hardly know Hawkeye. He's been in one movie and he was kind of mute the entire time. So I don't really see that happening in this. But Hawkeye, man. You got Hawkeye, Falcon, Black Widow, Black Panther, Spider-Man. Like, it's confirmed now. Spider-Man, Winter Soldier, Captain America, and Iron Man. You got eight characters. That's like... Like Anthony Mackie says, like it's Avengers 3.8. It's gonna be pretty damn awesome to have all of these characters in one freaking movie. I can't wait to see this. Next up, TV news. TV news! Okay, Melissa Benoist. I can't really pronounce her last name, but she's gonna be the new Supergirl. We talked about that last time, how excited I am about Supergirl, but the costume is out now. It's a little bit more dark tone, but it still has that classic Superman theme with the red and yellow. I guess it's not red and yellow, red and blue, because the yellow is not in the S. Even though I would love to see that, that would be so awesome to have the yellow inside there. Even if it's like a dark tone yellow. Maybe second season. Maybe if enough fans bitch about it, they'll put it in for second season. But she's wearing tights, boots, and a skirt. A lot of people are complaining about her wearing tights and a skirt. It's a good homage to the character. I dig it. You know, it's Martin I that she's not showing her her Spanx or whatever you want to call those is underneath her skirt, but she still has the skirt at the same time. That's awesome. I love it. I absolutely love this costume and my thinking is every season they should use a different version of the Supergirl costume. Every season use a different Supergirl costume. Use like the white shirt with the skirt. Use like uh, the little small Supergirl S on the shoulder. You know, use like the golden or silver age style Supergirl costume. That would be awesome. That would be super freaking awesome. Cause she has so many. Like the all black, like she goes evil one season, uses the all black with the big S on the costume. That would be awesome. That would be so freaking awesome. Next up, comic news. Comic news. So James Gunn said that Marvel is not going to be at the Comic Con. He said like he's probably not gonna be there either. So I guess I get it. I guess I understand why they're not gonna be there. They had that big press conference where they released all their movies. You know, released a Black Panther and Captain Marvel, all the other Avenger movies. Like all the movies that they have, they released it at this theater and they didn't have to pay Comic-Con. They didn't have to worry about all the foot traffic coming in and out. They didn't have like to compete with DC and Image and Dark Horse and all those other guys. They didn't have to do any of that. So, me personally, I say that's a good idea, and maybe it'll cut back on all the ticket sales at Comic Con so I can finally go one of these damn years. Because I would love to go to Comic Con, but they're sold out within five hours of the damn things coming out. I got a little bit angry there, just a little bit, because I want to go to Comic Con, but I never can. It's like going on an eBay bid and someone's beating me out every single time, but it happens every year. Yeah. Absolutely frustrating. <laughs> Next up in comic book news. Uh, okay. This one's going to be a long one. Because this one really gets to me. So, Batman has a new costume. Greg Capullo, Judas, is inspired by some Chuck Jones, Wally Coyote type of design. The bat has bunny ears. No cape. He's in like an Appleseed or Mac Cross Plus or whatever mech tech anime of your choosing. He's wearing a costume like that. So, yeah. Here's my little rant about Batman in the New 52. The Court of Owls. Batman doesn't know Gotham at all. The Owls proved that. They were going to take his young ward, Dick Grayson, and use him for himself. He doesn't know Gotham as well as he thought he did. So that's one. Death in the family. The Joker captured all of his family members. Every last one of them. Didn't kill them, 
No, that would be too much. Didn't kill them, but captured all of them. They were all captured. That's two failures. Thanks, Snyder. But I'm not done. Three. Damien died. Bruce let Damien die. I know what you guys are saying. Well, Jason Todd died too. Jason Todd got himself killed. Jason Todd, he had like a death wish. And that was like a fan decision to phone in the phone calls and like the 1-800 number to say, do you want Jason Todd to live or not? So that's three big failures that Batman has right now. Zero year. He let that city go to shit. And I know what you guys are saying this time also. Oh, no man's land is no different. I know. But this is four big failures in a row. By the same writer. Four big ones. Four big failures by this guy. And if you read Endgame, that's five. Because Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Aquaman, all are under my control of the Joker, attack Batman. And like he barely got out of there alive. Barely got out of there. <sighs> I know it's not much of an argument. But I just had there. But the way I see it is, Snyder is making Batman a chump. And I do not like it. A lot of you guys may say, oh, it's more realistic. This is how I love to see Batman, because he's so realistic. I can relate because he f***ed up now. No. No, my Batman doesn't f*** up. I know. I sound like an old comic book reader. And I get that. That's cool with me. But I like the new, I like the pre-52, not the new 52. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, do not like the new 52. The pre-52 is cool. This comic book is coming after Convergence, and my thing about Convergence is, Convergence is a good send-off to all the pre-52 fans. Because it had mostly pre-52 characters. So it's a good, like, goodbye. Okay, all you pre-52 pre pre fans, take it easy. You guys have fun, because we're not doing this anymore. You guys gotta stop bitching about it, because New 52 is here to stay, so. Say goodbye to all your pre-52 characters. Take it easy. Say goodbye to Aquaman and Batgirl. Say goodbye to, like, to all those Flash characters, him and his twins. Just say goodbye to all of it. That's what Convergence is. Convergence is that. It's saying goodbye to all that crap. So, if you really like the pre-52, I will buckle up, save up some cash, and buy every freaking issue. Because if they get enough issues sold, maybe they say, hey, this new 52 crap is just that. It's crap. So. That's my rent. I'm gonna get so much crap for this. <laughs> uh, and everyone's favorite time of the day, artists of the day. I'm really happy about this one. This one reminds me of old school, like illustrations of books. His name is Rads. And it's so awesome. He's definitely in love with animals. He loves animals a lot. His favorite is a whale just floating around in the sky. It's just, it's so wicked. And he has other stuff too, like a dude sitting on a surfboard. It just, it looks so peaceful. He's floating in the air, sitting on a surfboard. The color to it, absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of the same colorist that Adam Kerbert used a lot. If you guys know who Adam Kerbert is, it's, the work is just, wow, just beautiful. It's a lot of air, like floating in space, floating in air type stuff. It's really, really cool, really laid back and mellow type art so if you want to check out a really cool just mellow artist check out rads check it out and until next time you guys take it easy had a question for you guys say out of say in about 20 years from now they, they decided to make a batman beyond a movie and you got three batman to choose from ben affleck christian bale and michael keaton which one would you want to be old bruce wayne it's just, that, that sounds awesome, man. I want to know what you guys' opinion. So let me know right down below, which one would you choose for all that is holy? Do not say Ben Affleck. Ugh. Ugh.